To write the name for SNNO32, we first need to recognize that this NO3, this is the nitrate ion. So it's a polyatomic ion, good one to remember. We have two of these nitrate ions bonded to this tin atom here. Tin, that's a transition metal. So we have a metal, then we have this polyatomic ion, which is made up of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound, so we can use these rules here to name the compound. First, we'll write the name for tin. SN is tin, so we'll just write tin. Then we'll write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's that nitrate there, nitrate, lowercase n. And so far, the name we have is tin nitrate. But SN, tin, that's a transition metal. So it can have different ionic charges depending what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to the nitrate ion, two of them. And each nitrate ion has an ionic charge of one minus. Two times one minus, that's two minus. Tin has to be two plus for the charge to add up to zero, to have a net charge of zero. So to show that tin is two plus, we put the Roman numeral two in parentheses. So we have tin two nitrate. So the name for SNNO32 is tin two nitrate. And we need two of these nitrate ions here. So the charge balances out on the tin. This is Dr. B with the name for SNNO32. Thanks for watching.